I'm Noel Mead. We're here in Tuva Stables, which is based in North County Mead. It's where I was bred, born and reared. I've been training since, well, 1969-70 was the first year, I think. And uh, I'm still going. When I started off originally, it was a cattle farm and everything has been geared now towards horses and towards training. We have four different all-weather gallops now. We have a five furlong oval one, which was the original one we put in. We have a three and a half furlong circular one at the bottom of a seven furlong dog leg straight. There are two gallops on that straight, the six furlongs of carpet, and one is sand and fibre. We have a schooling strip with five hurdles and four fences on it. We have an indoor ride, which is a furlong and a half round. And inside that, we have a furlong circle on sand as well. It is great to have a variety of places to go and horses that you can bring them to a different place. If one gets a bit free or something like that, it is a change of scenery for them. Staff is absolutely everything. I have I probably my main body of staff. They are with me for a very long time and, and uh, they're the backbone of it. But if you don't have good staff, you have no chance. You, you need good riders, number one, but you also need good people in the yard as well. And we're very lucky in that respect that we have people who have been with us for a long time and we rely very heavily on our staff. Probably the one of the first horses that struck a bell was a little filly called Sweet Mint. She brought us to a Royal Ascot and won for us there in 1978, so it's a long time ago. And then we had a couple of very good summer horses, Pinch Hitter, who won two Galway Hurdles and two McDonough Handicaps at the time, and Steel Duke, again, another Galway specialist. But they were, at the time, were, were big horses to have. Since then we've progressed and we've had a lot of grade one winners over jumps like Road to Respect and Road to Riches and of course Archibald who's probably my favourite horse of all time because he was such a lovely horse number one but he was on his good day he was very good. 